Good evening once more and welcome to our devotional. It's time again to pray. I shall invite you to please pray with me. Father in heaven, Lord God, once more, bless your people as we meditate upon your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The glory of God. Exodus 40, 34-35 Then the cloud covered the tent of meeting, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Moses could not enter the tent of meeting because the cloud had settled on it, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. When the tabernacle was completed according to the instructions of God, the tabernacle was covered by a cloud, and even Moses could not enter. The presence of God was evident right in front of their eyes. This must have been a truly amazing sight to behold. They rested from their journey when the cloud settled on it. When the cloud ascended from the tabernacle, they resumed their journey. Throughout their journey, the Lord gave them a constant reminder that He was with them. His presence was manifested by a cloud during the day and a fire during the night. The people of the Lord see these glorious wonders day after day. Despite of how hard-headed these people were, the Lord was gracious to them. The glory of God gave them the assurance that God's forgiving spirit was unfathomable. His glory and love for each of them were matchless. He is the same God that we worship now. He is awesome, powerful, and compassionate. He is so loving and generous. We can be assured of His divine presence too. We should not be fearful of anything today and in the days to come. God is with us. He said in Isaiah 41 10, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And 2 Timothy 1 7 also said, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of sound mind. God's holy presence in our lives will give us the assurance and confidence in life that no matter what happens, we are secured in His hands. There is joy, love, hope, and fulfillment in life. Many times we question God because of many things that also we experience that we don't expect. But God knows it all. When you don't see His hand, trust His heart. Shall we pray? Let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord God, thank you so much, Lord God, for this beautiful promise. Your glory be upon each one of us. Your presence be upon each one of us, O oh God. As long as we, we long to seek you with all our hearts, with all our might and strength. Help us, O oh Lord God, to experience the same way as you have been so gracious to our forefathers, O oh God. Help also to be gracious to each one of us, especially now, Lord God, as the crisis multiply right in front of our eyes, O oh Lord. Help us to see Jesus. Help us not to see the chaos and uh, the war and the famine and everything that's going on, Lord God. Help us to see Jesus that through these experiences, O oh Lord, we see the strength, we see the hope. We will not be frustrated, we will not be hopeless and desperate because we know that you, have, you are with us and you will help us to get through with this. Come what may, Lord God, help us to keep the faith until the end. When you will come, you will find us faithful. In the love of Jesus we pray. Amen. Oh, what a beautiful, powerful message right now to each one of us and I hope we will remember this because this is an assurance that no matter what God is with us and he will give us the faith the courage the hope and love as we look towards heaven as we look upon his face day after day may the Lord God bless you I hope to see you again tomorrow night bye bye